New developments, Ukrainian morale was lifted by Zelensky's trip to the United States. Welcome to Eagle News Channel. After nearly 10 months of intense fighting, many Ukrainians appeared to regain their composure as they watched Mr. Zelensky speak before the Congress of the United States. On December 22, President Volodymyr Zelensky returned to Ukraine after making a journey to the United States capital of Washington. This was his first trip outside of Ukraine since the commencement of hostilities. His address the day before in the United States Congress was hailed as a historic occasion that resonated tremendously at home, inspiring much optimism and pride of the Ukrainian people. His speech took place in the United States Congress. Mr. Zelensky took advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to thank the United States for its unwavering support over the past few months during his visit to the country as well as to deliver a speech to the Congress of the United States. At the same time, he continued to call on the West to keep the flow of arms, gas, and aid to Ukraine. In spite of all the challenges, Ukraine has not completely disintegrated. Ukraine is vibrant and continuing to develop, he told both houses of Congress, amid cheers from the legislators in attendance. The visit of President Zelensky was greeted with a hostile response from the Russian government. According to the spokesperson for the Kremlin, Dmitry Peskov, neither President Joe Biden nor President Zelensky had demonstrated an inclination to listen to Russia's concerns. Moscow issued a warning that the suffering of the Ukrainian people would be prolonged if the United States continued to equip Ukraine with Patriot missile systems. During this time, the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs lashed out at Ukraine and its Western backers, accusing them of preparing for a prolonged confrontation with Russia. However, those living within Ukraine are unable to conceal the feelings they are experiencing. The unexpected travel of President Zelensky is like a medication to boost the spirit in the midst of the darkness and cold that millions of Ukrainians have been forced to endure as a result of Russian missile strikes on energy infrastructure and weeks of stalemate on the battlefield. Some Ukrainians express their pleasure at seeing lawmakers in the United States extend a warm welcome to Mr. Zelensky. Valery Trihub, a ski instructor based in Kiev, posted a message on Facebook saying, Guys, everything will be okay, Ukraine will be fine, we will be provided with everything, we will be assisted. Ukraine will be fine. This is an important moment in history. On December 22, the author Tashiana Bysik stated on Twitter that she had never in her entire life dreamed that the president of Ukraine would address the Congress of the United States. I have a great deal of pride in being Ukrainian. Maria Hrachova, who works as a marketing director in Kiev, shared that she has always been moved by President Zelensky's speeches and that this emotion has not changed in response to his message delivered in the United States. When he speaks before the House of Commons, wearing his normal moss-colored shirt and without a vest, President Zelensky is himself, she remarked. When he speaks before the House of Commons, wearing his usual moss-colored shirt, he communicated exactly what he desired and what was essential to communicate. According to Hrachova, what is also striking is the way in which the Americans have welcomed President Zelensky. She stated that the tour will assist in bringing back more weapons and hundreds of millions of dollars in aid, all of which are necessities that Ukraine must have immediately. We are aware that different people in the United States have different perspectives on the situation in Ukraine and the level of support for Ukraine, but we anticipate that the majority of U.S. government officials and members of Congress will support them. Me, she added. We are aware that there are different views in the United States about the level of support for Ukraine. A fruit vendor in Kiev named Tatyana Vasilivna had nothing but positive things to say about President Zelensky's trip to the United States Capitol. She stated, It seems to me that this visit will bring the issue to an earlier finish, and I agree with her assessment. I believe that it will be beneficial to our success. When I witnessed President Zelensky get such a warm greeting, I actually started crying. I was very happy for him. 
According to Alexander Kuzmenko, a computer graphics engineer based in Kiev, the most significant aspect of the visit was that members of the U.S. Congress heard about the situation in Ukraine directly from the Ukrainian president, rather than from a third party. Kuzmenko commented, I saw that he did a very excellent job, both in message and in will, underlining all of the major aspects, and pushing for additional weaponry. I observed that he did a very good job, both in message and in will. He stated that he totally supported the key messages that President Zelensky gave, saying that the confrontation with Russia revealed the flaws of current global institutions. Specifically, he stated that he fully supported the primary messages that President Zelensky sent. The battle in Ukraine demonstrates that the current framework of world security is not working and needs to be reconstructed, he claimed. The war in Ukraine has shown that. If we do not take advantage of this opportunity, our children and grandkids will be the ones forced to clean up the disaster that we have created. A political analyst named Artur Balaus remarked that never before has a Ukrainian president been hailed like Wei in Washington. However, Zelensky's trip will only be deemed a success if it helps to speed up the process of sending weaponry. According to what he wrote, the most astonishing thing is how swiftly the military aid will be provided, most importantly the Patriot Air Defense System. Citation Needed Oleksandr Solonko, a Ukrainian soldier who is now stationed close to the city of Bakhmut, stated that although he was unable to watch President Zelensky's address in Washington, he believes that the visit itself is a very encouraging signal. These kind of visits are not random occurrences. This is a statement of America's commitment to us and that we will continue to get help, which is very important to us," he stated. The military is carrying out its duties while keeping our fingers crossed. It is my sincere hope that the administration will be successful in its attempts to retrieve the essential weaponry. Support the channel by like and share the video. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell to receive the latest news. Thank you for watching.